Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am here to share with you my completed coloring pages that I did in uh, March. Uh, and I want to say, if any of you have any of these coloring books and would like to do a buddy color with me, uh, feel free to email me. And we will select a page, and we will select a book and a page, and set up a date when to post. So just let me know. If you don't know what a buddy color is, it's where two people have the same coloring book. They get together and they choose the same page. You know, they decide on one particular page. They color it, and they set up a date to put up the... Uh, video to show what they did it, you know, how they colored their page and then you know our viewers can compare and We can compare and see um, How different or how alike that we colored our pages. So that's what a buddy color is. It's just something fun to do uh, to kind of give you a motivation or to give you uh you know, sometimes when you don't have anything set to do, a specific thing, then maybe you might get in the slump and not want to really, you know, color or whatever, whatever you're doing. And uh, this is just kind of like, not really a theme, but kind of like a little, just a little motivation and a little fun. Okay, so let's get right into it. Please forgive me if I yawn. I'm just going to go ahead and say at the beginning of the video, which I've said time and time again, but just in case I have some new viewers, I don't know why I do it, but every time I get on camera, I start yawning. I don't feel nervous, but for some reason, I won't be yawned all day up to the time I do the video. I start talking on the video and I start yawning. So, um, if I have to pause to yawn, just I ask you to excuse me, please. Okay, so we're going to start with this first book. This is a Creative Haven. Uh, it's Home Sweet Home. It's by Teresa Goodridge. And I'll show you my page I did. This page here, <clears throat> I did... As a buddy color with Patty, Kiki, Brenda, and Jennifer. Uh, Patty is Life with Patty. Kiki is Catherine Merkovich Robinson. Brenda is Grammy. Oh my goodness. I forgot hers. I don't know why I can't keep hers in my mind. And I don't know Jennifer's either. But anyway, we buddy colored. On the 8th of March, um, Patty, I think, was the one that picked this page out. So, um, that was a buddy color. And what I'm going to do is I have them all marked with um, some kind of marker. So, I'm going to add, I'm going to lay the markers over here, and then I'll count at the end how many pages I did in March. This here is called Amazing Swirls. It's an adult coloring book. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Coloring Book Cafe book. Yes. Copyrighted in 2018 Coloring Book Cafe. Okay. And I did this page here. And it wasn't a buddy color. It was just one I decided to color. It's light pastel colors. There's not a lot of colors in it. It's mainly yellows and greens and pinks and a purple um just pastel -y type colors i did this on the 13th of march and that was all in that book this here is called grayscale and underpainting coloring book elegant faces color my art by Ikuko. i think is the name of how you say that name and I believe this is the only one I have. I started a few, but I haven't 
actually finished them yet. So the, the front page is all I have completed in this particular book so far. I've done this one on the 3rd of March, and uh, I used um, alcohol markers on this one. I like the way her hair turned out. And grayscale and underpainting is, see how it has gray in it? And that's so when you color over it, it already has, you know, it's shading. You can add more if you want to, but you don't have to. You just color it, and it already has its shading on it. Um, it's like, like, you know, around here and uh, up under the flowers, you can see shading. That was already on it. So, I did that one. This here is, well, let me pull this one out first. This here um, was for a an open collab in March. And it was um, with Life with Patty and Kathy's Favorite Things. And... Uh, it was for hashtag for the love of ice cream. And I think, let's see. I don't remember. This was a free printable that I, re I got from somewhere. But it doesn't woo junior kids activities. But I don't know. It doesn't say. I used the back for checking colors. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I, this was a free printable that I ran off. And so that was an ice cream. And I did this one on the 20th of March. I don't have them in order, you know, like the 1 through 31 of March. I just got my pulled my coloring books out that I've colored in. This is the best of color it that's the name of it the company color it and um this is kind of like a variety of different books that they have put out kind of just to give you a little feel of different their different type you know themes of books and so let's see i got my marker right here i did this medallion I did it on the 11th of March, and I used gel pens to color it, and is that all? I thought I had another one in here, but I guess not. I don't see another tab, so I guess that's the only one I did in March. I really like the way it come out. I love the, the glitter gel pens. I just like the way they sparkle. Okay, so that's that one. This here is called Sarcastic Advanced Coloring Volume 2. Relax and accept the crazy. <laughs> I purchased this book from Dollar General. You can see from the yellow tag. I purchased it from Dollar General, and I, I really like it. It's sarcastic um, phrases and stuff. So, I think this is the only one I've done this month. And this one, it says, Unicorns Believe in You. You know, instead of you believe in unicorns, that's being sarcastic. Unicorns believe in you. <laughs> so, I did this one for on the 22nd of March. And I did it for uh, the March scavenger hunt that... I probably have her name on another one. She's mostly on Instagram. Actually, that's the only place I've really seen her was on Instagram. But she puts out, she calls it the, like, January scavenger hunt. Um, February, you know, March, April. She'll have one out, I'm sure, for April. And she puts prompts out for you to... Find that theme in one of your coloring books and color it. But this one here, I kind of double played this one. This here was for prompt one and ten. Uh, one was, I believe, number one was magical or magic. 
No, and then number 10 was unicorns, or it might have been vice versa, but I just used this for both of those prompts. So, I did that, and I'm looking forward to getting the prompts for um, April. I don't get to, to do all of them with, you know, everything that's going on in my life, but I love to, you know, do as many as I can. This here is Design Originals Teacup Kittens Coloring Book by... Kaomi, Kaomi, is that how you say her name? I hope you're seeing that. And let's see, I only did one in this one. And okay, here it is. Uh, the scavenger hunt is called Happy Scavenger March or whatever month it is that go there, 2022. So, this is April. You can look up uh, uh, hashtag Happy Scavenger uh, April 2022 and see if anything comes up. This was Prompt 2, which was Kittens, if I'm not mistaken. It was either Kittens or it was a teapot. I think it was Kittens. I'm going to have to start writing down what actually the prompt was, not just that it was Prompt 1 or 2 or whatever. I did this one on the 22nd also. When I get through here, we'll count all of my, how many I did in the month. I don't think I got as many in this month as I did last month. I uh, had more going on this month. Had a lot of doctor's appointments from, with Mama um, in the town that's an hour away. And that takes a whole day to do. So we've had quite a few of those going on in March. And... Um, we have one again next week, and so hopefully after next week, things will calm down. I'll be able to color more. This is Whimsy Girls Through the Decades, and it's a, a coloring book by Hannah Lynn. I love Hannah Lynn. She has the big-eyed girls, and I, I love her, her coloring books and her um, diamond paintings. So, let me see if I can open this. So I did this page as a buddy, yeah, buddy color with Emily's Coloring Corner, and um, I completed this one on the twenty sixth. I can't remember what day we actually posted the video, but I completed this page on the twenty sixth of March, and it's an old, like a fifties diner. And she has her little poodle skirt on. And y'all know, well, most of you do know I, I love yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. Used to be red. It's changed. I love yellow. Um, so, I had to give her a yellow skirt. <laughs> I had to. So, that is that one. And there's no more tabs for this month. This one here was really fun. Um... This book was sent to me to do a review on. This is um, from, let's see if I can say it right, Color Questopia. Am I saying that right? Is this the one they sent me? No, 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 no. Is it? No, sorry, it ain't. Guys, I thought I colored one in that one. Did I not get all of them? I'm going to pause you because I think I've colored one in that one. I may not have, but let me go check. I'll be right back. Okay, no, I didn't color one in that one. That was one I had planned to color in and didn't ever get around to doing it. Okay, but um, I will give you more details on that book when I do a, a color um, a page in it, which I do have a video up if you want to go back and check my other videos where it's a review for the Color Questopia book. And uh, you can see what it... It is a color by number, but it's not the mosaic type. It's just the regular picture with numbers on it, and you color by number. Um, but I do love this one. Um, to me, it's, it's fun to reveal the page. See, there would be no reason to, for me to... It wouldn't do any good for me to give you a um, flip through of this 
book before it's colored because you can't tell what the picture is. And that to me is what's so fun about it is watching that picture come alive and seeing what it actually is. Now, I'm not going to show you all of the examples, but they do give you examples. You know, they give you what the page is supposed to look like when it's completed. So I won't show you all of that because I don't want to spoil um, in case you want to um, go purchase the book. So anyway, I have several in here, about three or maybe four, I can't remember, uh, because I really enjoyed this book. It was, you know, something different, and it I just enjoyed watching the picture, you know, unfold and, and be able to start out not knowing what it is and then be able to, you know, see what it is. But did I tell you about it? This is called Mystery Mosaics. Uh, use color to reveal secret image. This is book one. It's by Mindware. And as you can see, this one turned out to be a giraffe. And on these, I just used color pencils. Uh, throughout all of my color page and I've pretty much just went from front because I don't know what they are so I'm just going in order now on this one I decided to try the technique that some people use of just putting the X's you know whatever color it is you use that color pencil and just put an X you know to make your picture now it did come out to show a flamingo I called it a um I called it a swan whenever I was um, telling about it. When I first did this, I've already showed this this month, but this is showing the pages I've completed. So, you know, all of, pretty much all of these I have already shared with you on a video somewhere. But um, I really don't care for doing this method. A lot of people prefer this. Well, not a lot. I have seen some people that prefer this method, this method, but I like to just color it in. So, like I did the giraffe, just color the square that color. And uh, so it's just whatever you prefer. I've also heard of some people that like to, like just put dots in the center with whatever color you're supposed to, kind of like just color over the number, in other words, just make a little circle right over the number. I've been tempted to try that. Um, I didn't care for this method. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to care for the dot method, but I may try it one time just to see what it looks like doing it that way. So that is that page. And then, um, oh, I didn't tell you the dates that I did these. I didn't put the date on, oh, yes, I did, right here in front of my eyes. The 15th of March, I did the giraffe. The 15th of March, I did the Flamingo. The 30th of March, I did the Kitty Cat. Can you tell that's a Kitty Cat? I love his eyes. That's cute. And one more. I did the Lollipop. It took me all the way to where I started on the background, which was the last color, because I, I went in order, um, before I figured out what this one was, I could not, for the life of me, figure out what is that? What is that? And I kept thinking, maybe it's a rose. No, it had too many different colors in it to be a rose. And, and it took me to, I got everything colored and was working on the background before I figured out that is a lollipop. <laughs> but I did this one on the 30th of March. So that is my pages in here. And you have a few pages, uh, I think maybe four of these big pages. Let me see if I can find where it opens up at. Look at here, guys. If I can get it out. Look, you got a big, long page to do. I can't wait to work on that one. Okay, I have looked at all of the uh, the answers in the back, but I can't remember. 
what they are. And I'm trying not to go back and look. And I want it to just, you know, open up before my eyes as I'm coloring it. So that is that one. Then, I love this book. This here is 100 Flowers Adult Coloring Book by Jade Summer. I love Jade Summer's coloring books. And I have three, I think it is, in here that I want to share with you. Okay, I did this page as a buddy, buddy color. Maniac Grammy's Homestead. Uh, Brenda that I told you I did a buddy color with. Uh, Patty, Kiki, Brenda, and Jennifer. Brenda, her channel's name is Maniac Grammy's Homestead. Now, Maniac is like M-A-I-N-E, like the state of Maine, because she lives in Maine. And then the I-A-C for act, Maniac. And um, that is her channel, Maniac Grammy's Homestead. But this was a buddy color I did with her on the 17th, or that's the day I actually completed um, my coloring. I think we did. I don't think we posted a picture until the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. But that's the picture I did with her. I used my gel, uh, glitter gel pens on this one. Then, here, let's see if I can turn it around where you can see it. This, we did another uh, buddy color with... Uh, the five of us, myself, Life with Patty, uh, Kiki, which is Kathleen Merkovich Robinson, Brenda, which is Maniac Grammy's Homestead, and Jennifer, I still can't remember her channel name, but uh, all four of us did this page. A couple of them, we, uh, a couple of us ran off this page and sent it to them they didn't actually have the coloring book but we ran off a couple of us ran off a page and sent it to a couple of the people and um so we all buddy colored with this page and we did this on the third the third the seventh of march and i again used my gel pens i love coloring with with the glitter gel pens. I just love it. So that is that one. Now, one more, and we can count how many I've done this month. Let's see. I hope y'all have enjoyed seeing my pages that I've colored. This one here, I did a buddy color just recently. Um, Actually, I think we posted it yesterday. No. Wednesday. I think we posted it Wednesday. I completed it on the 25th of March, but we didn't actually post it until Wednesday, which was the 30th of March, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, it's... um. It's three circles. It has flowers in it. and has the word believe in it. And um, I use my glitter gel pens on this. And I just love the way this turned out. I don't know if you're seeing the glitter of this bronze color or not. But it is just beautiful here under the light. It's just glittering everywhere. I just love it. So, guys... That was my coloring completed coloring pages for March. Now, let's see how many I actually completed. Let me put a book back here so you'll have something pretty to look at. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I hope that's right. I hope they wasn't none stuck together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've got quite a few of these. Seven, eight, 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so I only got fourteen pages done this month. Last month I did twenty something. But I only got 14 this month. But that's the way it happens sometimes when life gets busy. But uh, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you will, uh, if you have any of these coloring books, uh, I would love to do a buddy color with you. So um, just get in touch with me through email. My email address is always in the description. So you can get in touch with me that way. Or you can message me through um, Facebook or um, Instagram if you follow me in either of those places. Um, so, yeah, I would love to do a buddy color with you if you'd be interested in doing one. Or any, it don't have to be these particular books. If you've seen other books that I have that you might have one of and would like to do a buddy color in any of the others, just let me know. And we will get together and set a, uh, pick out a page and set a date. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Before I say bye, I want to say this is April 1st. But guys, my internet is ridiculous, ridiculously slow. I've already done one video this morning for my uh, other channel. And all of my links are in the description if you'd like to check out all my other social media. Um, but I've done a video for my other channel and I'm trying to get it uploaded. And it is taking forever. It may take the rest of the day to get it uploaded. It may even take on into the night tonight. That's how slow it's going. Um, so I was hoping to get this up on the 1st of April. But if it's not up until the 2nd. You can know it was my internet, the reason why. All right, I'm going to let you go. I will talk with you all later. Have a great rest of your day. 